Thank you for attending our Lakewood Elementary Title I Annual Meeting for the 24-25 school year. As you know, Title I is the largest federal assistance program for our nation's schools. Currently, our program serves over 99 schools in Pinellas County, including 39 non-public schools. The goal of Title I is that every student achieves high levels of academic proficiency. At our school, we have many resources for parents, including our comprehensive needs assessment, school improvement plan, district climate survey, and our PM3 data. Many of those documents are available online and in our school office, and the data is shown here in this PowerPoint for you to be able to see how we performed last year and our goals for the upcoming school year as we're working towards our grade of an A. The Title I funding process includes the federal government, the Florida Department of Education, and Pinellas County Schools. These funds are distributed to schools based on the percentage of children eligible for free and reduced lunch prices. However, students do not have to be from low-income families to receive help. Title I provides supplemental resources to the resources already provided by the district. The definition of supplemental resources is those provided in addition to what is already present or available to complete or enhance the extra academic support and learning opportunities for economically disadvantaged students. Many of the programs that we have for supplemental support here at Lakewood include our academic coaches, curriculum resources, <clears throat> paraprofessionals, interventionists, student services resources for students and families, professional development for our staff to continue ongoing high levels of student achievement, technology supports for students and teachers, family engagement opportunities such as tonight's event, student enrichment experiences including field trips, guest speakers, presentations, student incentives for our PBIS, and the extended school day here at Lakewood for additional learning. We have many things to celebrate here at Lakewood from the benefits that we receive from Title I. We've been able to maintain a, a B status or above for the last several years. We've continued to receive double-digit incremental growth in science for the last three years. We have 80 to 90 percent each year of student proficiency for students leaving kindergarten, and last year we were only two points away from receiving an A. We've also been able to maintain about 75 percent of our teachers and staff for retention of services from year to year. The Title I school-wide planning requires input from the community, from parents, from teachers, from students, and many other stakeholders. We seek that information so that we can then gather the data and that information together and determine how we're going to use our funding for the most successful outlook of our school. The Title I schools have to document that information and then provide that during meetings like this, SAC, and other gatherings in order to keep everyone informed about how our Title I plan is being implemented. A big piece of that information includes our budget. We use the total amount of our Title I funds to pay for many of the, the following areas. Teachers and interventionists, intervention programs, after school programs, parent involvement events, PBIS incentives for students, Connect for Success computer programs, and other enrichment activities. The breakdown of the allocation mostly goes to personnel that bring that one-on-one -on -one special attention and small group attention to our students, as well as that great professional development that ensures that your child has the most highly qualified individual in front of them to provide content and engaging lessons and instruction for your child's success. We also allocate funds for parent and family engagement, materials and supplies, technology, field trips, and stipends for professional development in addition to the professional development provided by the district. As a parent, you have a right to know the things that are going on in public schools. The rights to know information are provided for you online as well as in this PowerPoint and you can also request a copy in the school's front office. We work together for student success. Over the last few years, Title I and the district have started to combine their efforts and the Title I plan is now included as part of the school improvement plan. The information is reported to the state and we continue to hold ourselves accountable to monitor for success and provide data and information to parents. One of the big elements of Title I and school board and school connectivity is the idea that we're all 
together working towards the success of our students. And one way that we hold ourselves accountable to that is the Student Parent School Compact. This compact is a document that we provide each year that signifies the areas that each person involved in student success is adding in order to ensure that we're all accountable. The teacher's part, the student's part, and the home component. Tonight, in your teacher's classrooms, you received a copy of this year's school student compact. Please make sure that you signed your student compact and that you have received, returned that to the teacher in order for them to have a copy to keep on file for the year. Our goal is to receive 100% of those signed compacts. An example of the school compact is here on this screen. So if you haven't seen this document yet, you can also pick one up in the school office. Or again, the teachers in the classrooms have this compact, and we're hoping that you fill it out and turn it in this evening. If you'd like to take it home and continue to read it in more detail and send it back to the school, you're also welcome to do that as well. Each year, we're required to create a parent and family engagement plan. This document allows us to ensure that throughout the year we have various flexible meeting times for parents, activities that engage our parents and welcome parents into the school in order to be partners with us in their child's learning. In order to access that full plan, you can get it online at pcsb.org slash title one. You can also get a copy of it here at the school if you're interested in uh, reading thir through it thor thoroughly. All curriculum instruction and assessments are based on student-centered expectations. More information about our best standards is available at the Florida Department of Education, fldoe.org, and you can peruse that at your leisure. You also get this information from teachers as they provide to you curriculum and content that's ongoing throughout the year in our pacing guides and through the student agenda. Our school's curriculum is based on provided resources from the district, as well as additional resources that we purchase through the use of our Title I funds. Teachers use this curriculum in correspondence with our coaches to plan effective and engaging standards-aligned lessons for your child each and every day. During our open house, teachers review curriculum with you, data on how your students are performing, and the areas that students need to grow in order to close those achievement gaps and have 100% student success by the end of the school year. Additional information is available more specifically if you'd like to schedule a parent conference with your child's teacher. Another element that holds our Title I schools accountable for performance is the accountability system of the school report card. This is not the report card that goes home with your child each each grading period. This is the report card from the state that measures and gauges how our school is performing from year to year in things beyond just our school grade to include student attendance, national data comparisons, achievement growth, graduation rates for the, for the school district, and other qualifying areas of interest that will show you how our district has reached its grade this year of an A. An example on the screen shows you just how much we pay attention to data throughout the year and truly try to keep records of how our students are performing and set goals each and every time that they're working towards an assessment, a class activity, or an assignment. More information is available at edudata.fldoe.org or you can always again receive information at the front office if you're curious or would like a more detailed conversation. We have some exciting events coming up here at the school. We want you to save the date. Our Thanksgiving family luncheon and goal sharing opportunity for student progress is November 21st. A flyer will go home with times and more information regarding uh, that event, as well as our upcoming winter concert and magnet discovery night on December 19th. And again, our upcoming SAC meetings on November 12th and December 19th. As a reminder, these dates and events are posted on our marquee on our school website and again through flyers that go home with your child in their agendas and in their backpacks. We are still working to build an active school PTA and are looking for families, grandparents, community members who want to help us to, to begin and maintain a highly effective school PTA. If you have an interest in being part of a school PTA, please let our, your school 
child's teacher know this evening, or you can always contact the front office. Ms. Ketchum, our assistant principal, is working diligently to put together a list and to get this process started here at Lakewood. The district also has a parent advisory council called PAC. If you scan the QR code on the screen now, you can receive more information about that council and to become an active member beyond just our, our school. There's additional resources for you as well um, through the Learning at Home Family Resources, Volunteering in Pinellas County Schools, the Parent Ac Academy Power Hour webinars, and other partnerships through the various links that you see on your screen. Again, getting engaged in education is one of the best ways that we can ensure 100% student success for all of our Tigers. We want to thank you for your time this evening. Um, and as always, we really appreciate your feedback. So if you could please take a few minutes to scan the QR code on your screen and provide that really important feedback for us so that we can make the best use of our future family events. We appreciate your ongoing support of Lakewood Elementary and we hope that you have a wonderful 24-25 school year with us.